Well, 2010 has been a big year for Wiseco, and I'm here with Brian Nutter to find out all about it. Mate, congratulations on 70 years. Yeah, 70 years is a big one for us. It's just a huge number. It's, it's uh, you know, really hard to think back to all of those years of development, and it just seems like we're doing more development every year. Uh, I'd have to say 2010 is more development even prior to than anything before that. And that's resulted in a bunch of new products as well, hasn't it? It has. Uh, in prior years, we'd kind of concentrate on one product line and, and just kind of, you know, do our updates to that and the other two, would, you know, get their updates in a year or two. But this year, we just had to go after all of our major markets all at once. Um, going into the late model EFI market, which I could say would be, you know, Chevy LS, uh, modular Ford, and the late model Hemi, we've been busy with new Struker combinations. Uh, the new 5-liter camera motor that's uh, in the uh, uh, new 2011 Mustang GT, we've already bought one of those engines, reverse engineering it, coming out with new updates for it. It's really exciting because that's going to be the next 10 years uh, for forward racing. Uh, and then I think probably the biggest thing that we've done uh, is, you know, the factories now are coming out with direct injection models, which are very intricate in terms of the technology. It's very easy to screw up what the factory has given us. Uh, so not only have we matched what the factory has given you know, people from the factory, but we've actually been the first piston company to actually make enhanced pistons that actually have more, better, complete combustion than even the factory does. And that includes the smiley face piston. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a kind of a funny deal. It's uh, you know, it, it's a piston that we developed, and the problem with the original engine is it would only allow for so much fuel to be poured in over a certain amount of time. So we actually took a look at that, and we uh, created a, a scoop basically that allows the fuel to be centralized around the spark plug and for a more long, complete burn. And you know, with the more fuel we can stick in there, the more horsepower we can make. Tell us what you've got for the big block Chevy guys. Yeah, that one's been a big one. Uh, that line had been kind of sitting there stale for a few years, and we, we had better designs, and it was like, okay, what do we do? So we consulted with a bunch of the top engine builders, and they said, well, you need this combination, that combination, or there's this brand new cylinder head out this year that you need to really have parts for. So we developed what we call our Quick 16 parts and our Quick 8 parts. Uh, the Quick 16 are our big block Chevrolet parts. Uh, very nice dome, very rounded, tremendous horsepower, multiple world records. Uh, when it comes to nitrous, it holds up to nitrous like no other piston. Uh, and then we've got our Quick 8 series, which is big block Chevrolet with the 12 and 14 and 18 degree. And you know, there again, we took our Quick 16 design, you know, the basis of that, but then we made it specific for those cylinder heads, and it's been a wonderful part for us. What about your Pro True products? Right. Yeah, the Pro True is kind of a fun one. We've been applying new technology to that one as well. Uh, you know, people are looking for a good value and we've just tried to figure out, okay, what can we give these guys, you know, that uh, it's all the latest technology that we're doing, you know, applied to some of our older engines. Uh, case in point would be the nostalgia type engines, the 327s, the 396s. We've applied new technology to those parts, took our old parts off the shelf and replaced them with the best that we can do today. So even, you know, people that have those older engines can benefit with the best pistons that have ever been available for those. So we came out with Pro True level uh, LS and Hemi parts uh, around the idea of the guy running a factory connecting rod length and a factory wrist pin diameter. We figured to ourselves, well, if he's going to be the type of guy on a budget where he has to reuse the factory rods, he needs to have a pro true. Excellent. Well, thanks very much, Brian. Check it out, wiseco.com if you want any more information on 70 years of their fantastic products.